Your broken bow again. Yep. Going at, hiking this morning. At <clears throat> Hochtown this time at Hochtown RV Park, which is on the highway, but our um, campsite is a little bit back off the highway. How far? Mm, yeah, five, six hundred feet probably. Enough where you don't hear the traffic. You don't hear the traffic like at Creekside RV. So I do not recommend Creekside RV because it's way too loud. It's just like being at home is more like camping than going to Creekside. But now with that said, I want to give I want to say a good thing about Creekside RV. It's very nice, very clean. It's got good showers. So if you're rolling through town, or if you don't mind the the sound of road noise, it is it's a nice campground. It is. Nice. It's very nice, and they've got really good bathrooms. They're heated and cooled and I don't clean. even know if this one has bathrooms. I don't either. I have no idea. I just know it's back off the road and this, and we don't hear. There's a that's there's a tiny nice, town. That's a that nice one there. Looks very nice, but it's right on the highway. Yep. Yep. Ours is just back off the highway. Just a little bit helps. So it feels like it's a little bit more out in the woods. One thing I've kind of noticed though, the, the ones that I think are gonna have the least noise is you want to pick a, a, a campground that's perpendicular to the highway, not parallel to it. That's the problem with Creekside. It, it runs along the side of the highway. So all of the campsites are noisy. Yeah. Ours runs perpendicular in the opposite direction of the highway. So if you get toward the back, it's a lot less noise. So anyway, we got here yesterday evening and our friends, Sherry and Tom went, they're staying at Creekside. They couldn't get a spot at Hoachtown RV. And so they're here in the highway noise. And we met them at um, Grateful Head Pizza last night and had pizza and salad and a $9 beer. <laughs> yeah, I drank, I drank two beers in my dinner and I, I draft beer. Draft beer <laughs> on top of that. We got the bill, they were $9 a pizza. Like $9 a glass for that beer. But I told him, he asked the waiter, you just pick me one that's good. Well, of course the waiter's gonna pick the most expensive one because that's gonna make his bill higher and make his tip higher. So hopefully he picked the most expensive one because it was $9 a glass. So, um, so Morris isn't allowed to buy anything else on this trip. <laughs> he spent his on two beers last night. Next, next time I'll just have to give you a six pack of Schaefer's and put it in the back and sneak it in. So anyway, that was good pizza. Salad wasn't as great as it usually is, but the pizza was good. You know, we're kind of turning into this couple and what we do is we go travel places and get people reports on what's good and not good in that area. It's not just our adventures. It's kind that's of, true. We're reviewing. Yeah. It is hot in here. And that's, and that's good. It's good to review. Good to review. Stuff. So then we came back to the camper and it stormed again and our dog was scared again and kept us up half the night again. But it's beautiful today. There's some clouds, but at least it's not raining. It's not storming right now. I think it's supposed to be pretty all day today. It's at a 24% chance of showers today, but oh. I brought my raincoat. I don't know if I'm going to wear it or just my little jacket. It's a little chilly this morning, but we're going to go for a hike. Then go back to the camper and have lunch. And then Morris is leaving this afternoon because he's got a gig in Texas and I'm going to stay here. Yep, got to drive three hours, play three hours, drive three hours. This is the life of a musician. This is the way it is. Get used to it. And me and Lady will just camp. Where's Lady? There she is. Hi, Ladybug. She's ready to go hiking. She's a hiking fool. Uh -huh. All right, here we are. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just the wind blowing the rain off. Is it? I thought it was raining because it started. Coming down. Look how beautiful. Look at that pretty green. The sound of that water. Oh man. It's beautiful. There are some people fly fishing. I think that's a guide with them, learning how to fly fish. And if they catch anything, I'm gonna be so mad that I didn't bring my fishing gear terrible to wish that on somebody for them to not catch a fish, but, yeah. What do you think? She's happy. 
She's been hiking and canoeing and kayaking since she was born. She does better than I do at staying with Morris because he walks too fast. I like to meander and listen to these noises and look around and he likes to just book it through the woods. Lower Mountain Fork River. Beautiful. Okay, you can see there's got fly fishing right there. Morris and Lady. So Broken Bow. Broken Bow Lake. Okay. Weekend's over and we're loaded up and headed home. It's not often that I get this view of the camper. Since we're in separate vehicles, I get to watch that cute little thing drive all the way home. And this cute little thing. Lady! It was a fun weekend, no, fush no fishing, no fishing, no fishing. We didn't even get to kayak. We were gonna get up early this morning and kayak, but Morris was out of town late last night and didn't get in until, I don't know, one o'clock, I think maybe. So, he got to sleep in till six maybe. <laughs> and then we got up and drove around the lake and packed up and headed home. A weekend is just not long enough. I think we've discovered that. I don't like these weekend trips because you get there on Friday night, you have all day Saturday, and then Sunday it's already time to pack up and come home. So a three-day weekend, maybe, but just the two-day weekend.